it's very telling that if you ask the average person, particularly in the US, what can't you leave home without? Most people now can leave home without a wallet, they can leave home without a key, but their smartphone, they actually need. This was an opportunity to tell a, a very natural history story through an object that's in everyone's pocket. As part of that, also think about how to do a story that is truly global, right? So how can we create a story that actually gets people as the, the subtitle, the unseen connections, get them to recognize how they are connected to people in the Congo, how they are connected to people in Argentina or wherever it be, and to get them to appreciate that their consumption and use of this technology connects them to the planet in ways that then get people to think about the mission of natural history, which is um, nature and our place in it. The collaboration involved uh, both uh, research by me on some of the material ingredients of cell phones. I went out and investigated uh, the uh, artisanal mining sites for uh, tin in Indonesia. I also have observed uh, repair shops and studied repair shops in Indonesia as well as in Washington, D.C. Joel and Josh started this with this repair work. Um, and that was, the, that was the project that was funded both by GW and the Smithsonian, where they looked at repair shops and found some fascinating things according to race and social class about how repair shops parsed out. And then they brought me in for this National Science Foundation grant. And that was you know, really, I think, where we started to talk about unseen connections. We wanted to introduce a kind of a material and a linguistic perspective on cell phones that didn't just perceive them in terms of brain chemistry, and that wasn't just about scolding people not to use their cell phones. We were interested in trying to get the full picture by actually talking to people who were using their phones and watching them use the phones. Many of my colleagues have been trained at GW, know of the program, and so that just created a pool of students that we could engage. So it's been this synergistic opportunity, which has been wonderful. One of the goals of this project is really to teach students how to sort of carry out qualitative research methods. And that's what we've done. We built these student research teams and the best data has been produced by these students. Joel and Josh and I have in part incentivized by the exhibit and thinking about trying to produce a book for a much broader audience and to kind of counter some of this alarmist discourse around them. Kids have forgotten how to talk to each other. We think we can offer a counter narrative. I've seen the cell phone play an ever larger role in my life and the lives of almost everyone around me. The cell phone is arguably one of the most rapidly adopted technologies in the history of humanity.